welcome to my youtube channel please if you have not subscribed please subscribe as you do so may god bless you in jesus name inshallah amen and for those of you that are subscribed i pray may god grant your heart desire this year in the mighty name of jesus amen my lovely fans dreams are what we don't play with your dreams are your vision if you are my follower you know i always tell you don't play with your dreams and especially when you start dreaming and forgetting your dreams there is a spiritual attack on you because your dreams tells you your future tells you what is about to happen tells you a lot open your spiritual eyes so that you can see things before they manifest in the physical it is your dream that tells you a lot of these things so when you start sleeping and forgetting your dreams there is a spiritual attack on you it can be spiritual attack it can be an evil eye so guys i just want to say this because a lot of people say um somebody wrote in my comment section that it is juju what is juju that i'm talking about did i tell you to serve a uh, one juju or anything i only tell you the spirituality of life life is physical and spiritual we live in a life of physical and spiritual with daytime is physical when you go to sleep your soul will leave your body and it will travel far distance that you don't know when you are asleep when your soul your body will be in the bed your soul will arise that is where spirituality starts and it has nothing to do with juju if you are a christian you are a muslim you are a pagan you are a traditionalist you whatsoever you believe when night come the moment you lay your head to sleep you are no longer in the physical world your spirit your spirit life your spiritual life starts from there that's why you see some people the battle in the dream and they wake up they will be a ripe they're not going to wake up they'll just pass their go because they couldn't make it out from the spiritual life your spiritual life starts the moment you lay your head to sleep that is when your spiritual life starts so you can see that we are living in a life of physical and spiritual life so what i talk about is spirituality not nothing to do with juju so that person that was saying it is juju, juju is very different for what i speak about when i speak about tradition tradition is not juju tradition is far from juju if tradition is juju please write in the comment section if you did not do traditional marriage or when you got married they did not pay your bride price then if they pay your bride price that means you you too you deserve the juju so there is difference between juju tradition things and spirituality there are certain things a lot of people don't know so few that i know i explain in this channel why i am doing my video is not that i'm talking about juju what i talk about is spirituality and everybody has spirituality in them because you have a spirit operating in you when this day when when you are awake you are in your physical world the moment you put your head to sleep and your spirit leaves your body you are now in spiritual life your spirituality arise from there so that means when you are not strong in the spiritual life from there the battle so we start facing battle some start enjoying the pain on what kind of eyes are on you so my lovely fans for those of you that sleep and don't remember your dreams believe me it is a spiritual attack is either a spiritual attack or there is an evil eye on you don't take it for granted so my lovely fans in the house of me edoshi somebody have started regretting his actions and this is one of me edoshi children he is regretting the actions he took he took during the time Kambilichuku was alive he has cried to his mother there is something that is making these children to start regretting things to start uh, making them to feel that they did not take enough actions because you let doshe their father that they look up to that was once the father of the house that was one the 
author and finisher of their home. That was once the pillar of his house. They saw him move over to another woman and praising this woman, hailing praises on this woman called Juju Eko Ensuro Masimami Water. So these children are feeling that they did not play their role as the children. Just the way they wanted to paint me Edoshe, that she did not play the role as a wife. She failed in her, in her duty as a wife and as a mother. That was the reason Yule Edoshe left her. So these are what they wanted these people to believe. That make Yule Edoshe to leave their home. This part that Yule Edoshe take, it is playing somehow, partially. In the life of these children sometimes these children come up regretting some actions sometimes these children feel oh i would have done better but if you let doshe was there with them console them talk to them explain to them these children wouldn't have been going deep into what you are about to hear today chai my people mm. According to the information that came to hit our table, our lovely Kai Edoshi cried to his mother, told his mother that he will never play with his dreams, that any time he dreams about something, he is going to take it seriously, that he has found out that dreams tells a lot. Chai, my people, mm. this life struggle. A woman that was living her best life. A woman that was, she said she was living in paradise. She said her paradise collapsed on her. She said it with her own mouth that her paradise collapsed on her. My lovely fans, Me Edoshe, was almost crying when his son was telling him, telling her things. That he regretted. My people, a woman like me, Edoshi, a strong woman like me, Edoshi, tears have to fall down from her eyes because we all know that a mother can never heal from the arrow IP of their children. Tell me one mother that tells you that the loss of his child, that she has hid from it. My people, that woman is a W. That woman is a heartless woman. It's not a mother. It's just a woman. It's not a mother. There is difference between woman and mother. Mother is when you know your role for a child's life. Woman, every woman can give birth, but not every woman can become a mother. The moment Kai opened his mouth to tell me Edoshe, what he saw when Kambi Lichuku was alive, they said, may Edoshi fall into tears. Sometimes listening to people, God can use anybody to talk to you. God can use anybody to solve your problem. You might just throw into a social media washing. You see somebody explaining something. That person is just talking, but somehow you will find that like the person is speaking directly to you. God used different ways to solve our problem. Some can be true dreams. Some can be people you just met. Some can be people from your family. Some can be friends. Some can be even strangers, my people, especially our dreams. We should never play with our dreams. According to the information that landed our table, they said our lovely Kai Edoshi called his mother and told his mother that he would never play with his dreams. That anytime he dreams and he sees something, that thing, he must do it. According to Kai, he told his mother that when Kai Bilichuku was alive, may his soul rest in perfect peace. He said when Kai Bilichuku was alive, that Kai Bilichuku always have a dream according to him he said come will come to him 
You know the way brothers and sisters, when you have your separate rooms, when they wake up, they will come to this one. He said, Kambili Shuku, every morning we come to his room and tell him, Kai, do you know that I have a dream last night? He said, yes. I have a dream. Everybody was gathering. I was lying down. I was lying down on the ground and everybody were wearing black surrounding me. And they were praying for me. And Kai said, we ask him. What were they praying? He said he cannot remember, but he knows that they were praying for him. Kai said he will tell Kambili Shuku, hey, that is good sign. Huh? Hey, that means if you play ball today, you go score. This one that the old world will just gather you and start praying for you. So with the idea of not thinking that people are wearing black, signif um, that means it's, it's, it's stand for bad omen. But be that car is still a little boy, what do you want him to know? They always see positive in everything. So he told Kambili Chuku, ah, that is a good sign. Oh. That means if you play ball today, you go score. They will start laughing. He said the next morning, Kambili Chuku will come again with different kind of dreams, scaring dreams. He said there was a day Kambili Chuku said, ah, there was this fight they were fighting. They were fighting. There was this white cloth and this black cloth. So he was trying to grab the white clothes. They were wearing him the black clothes. And he was struggling to drag the white clothes. They were forcing that black cloth on him. Then Kai said, they asked Kambilish, did you succeed? He said, no, he was not able to wear the white cloth, but he was able to run from there from that black cloth. They said, Kai said, he would tell Kambilish, ah, that means you are powerful now. That means you beat them for a dream. Oh God, you go do rest, Leo. Be like, say, you don't be strong these days, oh. Start doing gym so that you can do wrestling. So he said they take they took everything for joke. But the mistake they make was that they did not tell these things to their mother. Maybe if they have told May Edoshe, maybe May Edoshe would have seen significance to this thing. That's why I always tell people: be strong in your spiritual life. There are certain things you might not know spiritually. When you see people that know that are talking about spirituality, about spirituality, listing, listing very well. The Bible, everything in the Bible and in the Quran, they talk more about spirituality than physical life. Because when the eyes of God, physical does not count anything in the eyes of God. Your spiritual life counts a lot. Where will you go after this word? Where did you come from? So these are spirituality. If Kai and Kambili Chuku have told Me Edoshi, maybe Me Edoshi would have taken these things more serious because these are spiritual battle going on already. But these children took it for granted. According to Kai, he said every money, it became something of every money. When Kambili Chuku will enter into his room, this boy will say, okay, what did you dream this time? What did you dream? What did they tell you? Did you fight? Did you win? He said before Kambili Shuku, we even start telling him the dream. They will start laughing. So they took everything for joke. Everything he said they took for joke. They were never serious about those dreams. He said then there was a day that Kambili Shuku came into the room. And he saw Kambili Shuku crying. And he asked Kambili Shuku, why are you crying? He said Kambili Shuku told him this time around. It's like they succeeded. He said, he asked Kambili Shuku, what is like they succeeded? He said, no, I was in, in the village and you people were in the city. And I was trying to meet you people to enter the car with you people to go back to the city, to meet you people in the city. It was like the city and the village were very close. Just three steps, I will be with you people. You people were inside the car and they were dragging me back. He said this time around, he was trying, trying, trying. He said, but you people, he was trying to call you people. You people did not answer. He said this time around that it was like they were drawing him back. They were drawing back and they succeeded in drawing him back. And what he see, he was telling them goodbye in that dream. He said, Kambili Chuku was crying. He said the dream was so real that he saw... He saw the the picture. The, he said, according to him, he said he saw the face of his grandfather. He saw the face of his grandmother. He saw the the paternal and the maternal side. He saw them. That is uh, his great grandfather, his great grandmother. He said he saw the grandfather, the father of his mother. He said all of them, all the families, were there. 
they hold him back. And he was just doing, waving them, saying bye to them. And he said the worst part of it, that they were not even looking at him. That me, Edoshe, and the children, they were not looking at him. He was waving them, telling them, it's over, it's over. He said when Kabilishuku was telling him this dream, this boy was crying. My lovely fans, he said this boy was crying. He said he told Kabilishuku, this is your dream, don't they too much show. This dream with the dream, don't they too much? Like you eat late. It's like you wake up in the night to go and finish the food in the fridge. After you finish it, you start dreaming about grand, grand, great grandfathers that have gone since how many years. So he said they started laughing. Then he started cracking jokes. And Kambilishuku stopped crying. They started laughing. He said, but that day was strange. He said, that he, he, according to him, he said, not like other days after they finished laughing, Kambilishuku will go back to his room. He said, but Kambilishuku remained sitting down there just looking at him. He said, why are you looking at me? Are you not going to school? Will you get dressed? Will you prepare? Will you? He said, Kambilishuku said, I just feel like staying at home today. <laughs> he said, staying at home to do what? Staying at home to do. He said, Kambilishuku was just there watching him. Just looking at him, staring at him. He said, then later he got up. He said, when he got up, he wanted to go. He started crying again. He said, he told Kambilishuku, ah, this is your cry. Don't let mommy see it. Too. This is your strange dream. You are dreaming with this cry. What are you crying? Just a dream that you dreamt. You are crying. He said, that was how Kambilishuku left. He said, after that day, then he is the one now that will go to Kambilishuku room and ask Kambilishuku, what did you dream today? Kambilishuku, he said, I did not dream anything. He said, I dreamt, but I can't remember. There was this thing, like, it was like this, but nothing, I can't remember. He started forgetting his dreams because they've already succeeded in taking him to the other side. My people, Kai Edoshe, explained this to the mother, which is May Edoshe. And according to Kai, he told his mother that this whole thing, came to him after Kambilichuku passed on. He said, then he started thinking about the dreams. How Kambilichuku would tell him. He said, he, he never thought that this whole thing means anything until when he explained to a friend. He said they were in school one day. He was just thinking about Kambilichuku, thinking about the good times they spent together. He said, then he told a friend, a classmate of his, he said, what does someone dream in lying on the ground, people wearing black and praying for that person? He said that friend of his shout. He said he went to this friend because this is a friend that when you tell him I dream something like this, he will tell you the meaning of the dream. He said they will be laughing at it. They used to call him Joseph the dreamer. He said so. A lot of people do go to him to tell them, to tell him their dreams. And he will give them explanation of their dreams. And they will start laughing and be calling him Joseph the dreamer. So he thought, let me explain this dream to this boy. This Joseph the dreamer that a lot of people are telling their dreams. Let me just try and tell him. Kambi said when he talked to this friend, he explained to him what does he mean? Somebody lying on the ground is not the person have not been a right pill, he's still very much alive, and people wearing black surrounding him and praying for him. He said, The boy said, Jesus, that is bad omen. That is RIP now. He said, No. How? He said, Pray. He said, But the person is still alive. He said, Yes, the person might be alive. It might be alive because it is not his time. Somebody wants to buy him. That's why he's alive. If he if he finds himself that he's sleeping and they were praying for him, that means it's time have come. But when he finds himself opening his eyes, very much alive, and people wearing black surrounding him, praying for him, that means it is not his time. That person, they just buy him. He never reached his time. My people, they said it was then that Kabilishuku knows that the dream that his brother has been telling him, all of them have a meaning.
Then it was then he started explaining the dreams, the ones he can remember that Kambilichuku was dreaming, telling him. Then this boy started giving an explanation to all the dreams. It was then that Kai, Kai, Kai burst into tears and said, Oh, I wish I know that these things are dangerous. I would have told my mother. And he told that boy that it was all these things happened to his eldest brother, which passed on. Hmm. The Joseph, the dreamer in the school, told him, when you get home, tell your mother these things so that your conscience will be free because you will have it in your mind. It will become a burden to you. Explain it to your mother so that you can be free. Now, so Kabilichuku went home to his mother and told me, Edoshe, there is something that he wants to tell you about Kabilichuku. And these all things he explained to me, Edoshe. Me, Edoshe, burst into another tears, my people. They say, me, Edoshe, come, they cry. When Kai was explaining to the mother, telling the mother things of what Kabilichuku told him. According to Kai, Kai said he regrets that he is the cause of Kambilichuku P.R.Y.P. The way Kambilichuku always come to him, he would have told his mother, he would have talked to somebody, he would have said it hard, but he laughed over it. He started blaming himself. And the mother told him, Kai, you are just a baby. You are still a teenager. You are just a baby. You know nothing about these things. It is normal at your age that you laugh over such things. Because we are not, we did not grow in a spiritual church where they teach people these things. We grew up in a Catholic church. It's different. It is not your fault. Don't put the blame on you. Put the blame on the people that took him before his time. Don't put the blame on you. You have nothing. It is not your fault. You are just a young boy. You are just a little boy that does not understand the other aspects of life. Chai, my people. They say now, dear Kai and me Edoshi, both of them started crying. This life we are living, don't play with your dreams. This old thing we are coming to come Bilichuku. The moment they were able to succeed, God gave them the signs. The signs were coming. The signs were coming. But he never told his mother. Always be free to your children so that they can tell you their mind. Not that Kai, May Edoshe was not free to Kambilichuku. No, but Kambilichuku believed in his brother. Believe that this, ah, this one is my guy. You know when you have brothers, you have your guy. This is my guy. Let me explain to him. So if Kambilichuku have told the mother, the mother would have taken another assurance because all the signs that came before they were able to succeed, all the signs would have been a warning. So after they succeeded in taking him to the other side, they block his dream. Because after they've taken him, when he was waving to his family, and the family were not even seeing him. He said they were just driving, going. They were in Lagos. He was in village. They've shared the boundary already. He's already in the other world. So they stop. What happened is, after that, they stop him for remembering his dream. Because if he remembers his dream, through that dream, even after they've taken him there, there are certain things that God can still show you that will free you from that attack because it is not the work of God. It is not God that has come to take you. Rather, it is your enemy that are drawing you down. It is your enemy that wants you to go, but not God that said it. So, if you can still dream and remember your dream, God will come in his mercies to show you the right thing to do to break their dreams. Do you know how many people in their spiritual life, when I mean spiritual life, when you sleep in your dreams, they come to give you poison as food to eat. You are supposed not to wake up from that dream, but God will wake you up. God will start showing you through your dreams. Pray like this. Avoid these things. You start seeing dreams of warning, dreams of things that will be telling you what to do. And those things they gave you will broke. But when you start, when the enemy succeeded on you and you stop, you stop remembering your dreams, their hand, their hand will surely succeed over you. 
they will surely succeed over you. Until you continue to remember your dream, dear God will come and start showing you signs, telling you what to do. Our God is a God of mercy. Our God is a God of battle. God has always been a God of battle. He battles to the last. That's why every principalities are afraid of him. Because he is the king of all principalities. He does not support injustice. He will come for you. He will fight for you. He will show you things. But all these things are in your dreams. So my lovely fans. Can't believe you could, how wish me and Doshi was this sp strong spiritually. This thing wouldn't have happened to a son. But the woman with a good heart, and that's a good heart, she's still having it till tomorrow. Because a woman that tells the court that, no, don't send my husband to, to jail. Leave him is still the father of my children. With everything that Yule Doshi is doing in the social media, this woman would have sent Yule Doshi to 10 years imprisonment if she so deserved. But she said no because of my children. To tell you how good May Edoshi is, to tell you how lovely, how angel she is. So, my people, that good heart of May Edoshi, that was what she used to start this Jujue Kwensu story. That she never knew that she was dealing with the devil. According to the proverb that says, when you want to eat with the devil, hold a very long spoon. No, you are not holding a long spoon. You dare not eat with the devil. Don't eat. Don't just eat. Not holding a long spoon. You don't dine with the devil. You fight the devil. You fight him. You don't dine with him. Because dining with him, he will get you. So, my lovely fans, I wish me Edoshi was this spiritually strong. Can't believe she could RIP for no happen. But the woman was with all her godly mind, just saying, Oh, why? God, why? She never knew that they did not only come to steal her husband, but they also came to steal her children so that they can collect property, so that they can hand over property to their son. So that they can hand over the things in the house that they did not work for. Their son, their children will start inheriting it. Is that not, is that not evil? Is that not devilish? My people, our Queen May Edoshi cry, now she cry. The only thing I love what she told her son is that you are a young boy, you know nothing. You are still a kid. What do you know about life? How will you take such a thing serious when you are a kid? You don't know those things. So don't put the blame on yourself. Can't believe Chuku will definitely forgive each one of us for not being there for him. Because he know if we if we know that these things are going to happen, we will have fight a battle for him. But we never knew that the enemy be already at the doorstep. My people, life is deeper than what we think. So just imagine these children. A lot of things that happened before the arrow IP of Kambilichuku tells you that the enemy they came prepared. But God Almighty in heaven that knows what we know, that knows what we don't know, that sees what we do not see, will surely protect me, Edoshi. This kind of thing no go ever happen to me, Edoshi again. Never. That one was a mistake. Yes, we call it a mistake. This kind of thing will never ever happen again because even we, all of us that were supporting me, Edoshi, we never saw it coming that this thing will result to this. The only thing we saw was when Yule Edoshi committed an abomination. The symbols of the abomination, the symptoms, should I call it symptoms, or the things that go with it, is that when you sleep, when you commit an abomination, it's either the man be a RIP. Or the children be RIP. That was the only thing we were telling you, like, should go and do the needful. Make the gods not strike. So, but seeing that some people will use the opportunity to attack somebody else's child, we did not see it. Neither did May Edoshi saw it. But today, my people, 
this kind of mistake not will happen again to me edushi because in a spiritual life now she's strong that's why when i'm telling people be strong in your spiritual life in short i'm talking to my fans i'm talking to my subscribers i'm talking to people that love me because some judoe Su members that come here to comment i can see your handwork I see your handwork, desperate people writing that I'm believing in Juju. Is there anything like Juju here? What concerns Juju and spiritual life? Your Juju Ekwensu that is doing Juju, have you written down in a page that she's doing Juju? Is there anything like Juju here? What I talk about is spirituality. Grow your spiritual life. If me Edoshe have grown her spiritual life, then nothing would have happened to her son. But because she got married to a man, she was living a normal life. The enemy will push you. <laughs> the enemy will push you until you know, say, this life is strong. You know when things are going smooth, some people say they even have attack on them. But they don't know. They are still walking just like that by the grace of God. This life, you need to be spiritually strong. Because all your enemies, they attack when you are asleep. No one, they attack you physical. Any physical problem you have, they've done it in the night. Daytime, you go come appear. But if you are strong in your spiritual life, when they come in the night, now battle, now they fight. Battle. Then they can never win you. You go be draw, draw. That's why you need to be strong. That's why I keep on telling my fans, my lovely ones, be strong. Be strong before you sleep. Pray. Pray fire and thunder. Sometimes you wake up in the night. Pray. Because sometimes in life, God tells us through dreams a lot of things. If Kambili Chuku have told the mother, the mother would have known that the evil have visited them. But Kambili Chuku did not tell the mother. Instead, he told his little brother that took it like a joke. And that little boy now is blaming himself. He has nothing to blame himself. He's just a little kid. So adult people, they, will, they don't even know anything about spiritual life. Talk less of a little boy. It is not anybody's fault. Spirituality is a gift. You don't learn it from school. You don't learn it. Nobody teaches you spirituality. It comes inside you. It comes inside you. When people are sleeping, you are awake. You are awake. Sometimes you think you are awake, pray. You just don't want to sleep. You are fighting for somebody because you are a spiritual person. So, my people, we should learn how to be praying. And we should learn how to take our dreams seriously. Take our dreams seriously. This is what just happened to me, Edoshe Asun. Another son, another of his child, regretting his actions that he took. That if he had known, he would have taken this thing more serious. He would have fought more battle for his brother. He would have taken this thing. They would have gone to the church, start saying, it is over. What has happened has happened. It is not his fault. He is not a spiritualist. He can't see. He can't even understand. He don't even know the meaning. It was like a joke. So my people, like my video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. As you do so, may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah. And, to do, and for those of you that are subscribed, may the light of God shine upon you and your family. In Jesus' name, inshallah. Amen.